Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is phenomenal to have you here because today is part two of our collaboration with John Lovell, your the Warrior Poet Society, and it is a great pleasure. You want to briefly tell them about what it is that you do on your YouTube channel, which you guys should check out? Yeah, we do all kinds of stuff, but anything from gun stuff to tactics, some real world fighting, self defense, home defense. We do kind of movie reviews and fighter mindset, philosophy stuff. We do all kinds of stuff. It's too great to even just give it's you like in an this all little you can eat buffet. It's you kind of everything. like that. And apparently we're even gonna have some forging stuff on there. But so it's, it's teaser, it's from this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a forge. It's a great channel. You gotta Thanks. check it out. It covers Appreciate the it, whole gamut of life and protection. Super cool. Sure. Warrior poet. So I think that about nails it. How about Before it? we jump into this, next steps, grinding the teeth and then going for the heat treat, let's thank today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Honey. Now what is Honey? It is the money saving tool that sits there in your browser, is completely free to use and is gonna be saving you money. They are sponsoring today's episode. So be sure to go install Honey. It'll install super easily, it takes two clicks, helps support this show, there's a link in the description. Thank you Honey for sponsoring this episode. Let's jump in. So Will has been cracking on with the bulk of the grinding on this and Will, what is the plan from now? The plan right now is to finish off evening out all the bevels and stuff like that. We've got to get the swages in the back edges uh, even out because this one's a little bit steeper right now. We've got to get these lines to meet so it looks nice and crispy. We've got to get the plunge lines cleaned up. But after we're done with the blade part of it, we're going to move on to the meanest part of this thing, which is going to be the serrations that sit along in here. We're going to start off kind of laying it out with a uh, red dicum with a... Uh, Wait, what? With red, uh, with dicum, uh, whatever color we, we may choose. And then we'll move on to a hand file to get the notches kind of started off and then we'll move into the small wheel attachment to carve in those super nasty, mean looking sawing serrations. And just in case you get the zombie right up in your face, you can saw on it real good and just real me mess them up. They, they like to look nice, so if their face is all messed up, it just ruins their day. Uh, so it's, it's really more of a, an aesthetics thing for them uh, more than anything else. Wow, that was really bad. <laughs> So how's it going, Will? <clears throat> it's going very well. We've integrated John's beard comb into it. So now when he's <laughs> on the range, he can stay looking fresh. Um, and then at a moment's notice, so use good. it to, you know, make someone's else's, someone else's beard look not so good. Um, <laughs> it's looking quite, quite devastating at this point. I think it's about time that we go ahead and poke some holes in this thing. What do you think, Alec? I think that is a grand idea. So the idea that we've come up with for mounting this onto the rifle is we're gonna have a piece of flat steel that you've already prepared. It is right here. This is gonna be tapped and threaded and will be inserted into the rifle like so. The bayonet is then going to be drilled to accept a bolt that bolts it onto the rifle. That is going to look awesome. So we have a little bit of drilling and a little bit of tapping before it's able to mount. After it's drilled and tapped, it's onto the heat treat. With those holes done, it is time to head into the Paragon heat treating oven and harden this thing. The oven is at 1507 degrees Fahrenheit. We are gonna open it up. Will has the tongs, the piece is in. Next step is to quench. John, you're gonna do the honors. We've run through the safety stuff. Fantastic, we're all gonna die. It's time to quench. Perfect. Yes. Quench and quench. Yeah. Keep going, that's good, don't worry. We're all, we're all happy here. You see me on the You're smiling, <laughs> you know, the world is still here. Yeah, well, I kinda freaked out. Oh, yes. Straight as an arrow? Straight as an arrow. I think it was my quenching that did that. I think so. It, it was, was uh, a lot of imperfections, but my quenching was so was, superb. That was very good. Uh, <laughs> so this is now super hard, super brittle. So what we're gonna do is we're going to heat it to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see the pattern popping yeah. through already. And we are going to temper it. 
Amazing, let's do it. Counting this on 450 Fahrenheit, we're gonna do two hours. All right, we're making some excellent progress on the zombie slaying bayonet. Right now what I'm working on is filing this spot down a little bit so that that screw that sits in there is gonna sit nice and tight so we have plenty of contact whilst slaying zombies. Uh, and then I need after that to blend it in so that this is still a comfortable hand stop for that blaster. My goodness, what John, you've got to see this. Oh, she's she's amazing. She's beautiful. When does the uh, Damascus whatever? Because we had the designs oh, yeah, and now it's gone. Question. Now, now, now we so do we just edge. do some special acidy thing and voila. Yes, Will. What was it you were saying yesterday? What's the technique for this? It involves a VW camper bus. Oh yeah, so uh, because you need to use acid, we, uh, we rent out an, a 1960s VW bus, um, put on the Grateful <laughs> Dead, and uh, that really just makes the acid work a little bit better. It has been degreased. Are you rolling? Yeah, I'm ready. Camera's hot. Here we go. Into the ferric chloride. An imprecise amount of time has passed, and it is now time to reveal the etch. Lovely. Oh, thank you. Go. Thank you. It kind of tastes like zombie guts, though. Mmm. Defeated the zombies! We've done it! In the center! Hands in! Slam! I cannot believe that we've done it. The <laughs> zombies that came over the Rockies arrived just in time for this to be done. And we slayed! It was a close call. Uh, you know, we're not opposed to doing really silly stuff, but that... That was over the top. Guys, you are so gracious for wading through that. Hopefully it'll look epic. If it does, it's purely videography magic. <laughs> <laughs> it was phenomenally fun. Guys, please go and check out John at the Warrior Poet Society. Check out his channel. Thanks, John, man. thank you so much for coming. Thanks. Now, if you want to see the videos that we've been working on for his channel, you must subscribe. You know, we have made a knife yes. also in these two days. And uh, we're getting set to go to the range. And he's going to teach me some cool stuff. If you guys want to see this guy shred with some guns, you're going to have to come visit our channel. And uh, Alex is going to show you how it's done. He uh, might even surprise you. So we'll see you over that. there. Guys, thank you so much. Be sure to check out his channel. We're going to end the video thanking today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Honey. Now, Honey is a money-saving extension that plugs into your browser, is completely free to use, and is there just to save you money. It'll take you two clicks to install, and it means that when you go to sites like 
Walmart, when you go to sites like mscdirect.com, when you even go to my website, alexdealshop.com, you'll reach checkout after adding all your items to cart and automatically, honey, will pop up if there is a discount code available. It's gonna take you two clicks, it sits there, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to pay for anything, and it's gonna save you money. I've, I've saved hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of dollars at this point. When I was gearing up this shop, I had to buy lots of things, and uh, MSCDirect.com, it's a, an industrial supply company, you know, and so I was buying, you know, milling cutters and things like that. I had to buy a huge whopping annular cutter for whenever it is I made that squat rack in my house. And it feels, it feels, it feels unbelievable to go to checkout and then have this little thing pop up letting you know, hey, I'm gonna save you money, I'm gonna get you free shipping. Hey, I'm gonna get you 20, 30, 40% off. It is unbelievable the discounts you can get with Honey, and so I really, really highly encourage you go to my link in the description. Click that link, it's just a couple of clicks. Honey's installed, it's completely free. You're gonna be saving money, and hitting that link helps support this show, and helps keep Honey sponsoring these episodes. Thank you, Honey, so much for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for being here, and saving yourself some money with Honey. It's been a pleasure, bye-bye.